Today we will review the bunny room and how setup is made to start creating both show and cartoon and start interacting with our characters in a much more meaningful way. Let's get started. In order to design the bunny room, I started by drafting out the different bits and pieces that can go inside the room, so where the bunny can sit, what is the angles, what is on the background and what do we really want to achieve when it comes to presentable view. I think it takes a lot of time to nail down everything that we have when it comes to how things look. So I started by taking the pre-made uh, assets from the sci-fi bundle and it will be a little bit of a spaceship where the bunny is gonna live and investigate different questions. And it will be some sort of a mini show that I can add on top of the devlog where I can investigate different concepts and put them in as a mini presentation that characters will investigate. And this will allow me to play with them and play with the workflows that will hopefully lead into the high quality cartoon. What we can see here in the room right now is a couple of screens that are floating near the character. And one of them is supposed to show us when we are investigating the different screens. So we're using the browser, etc. This is where we want to capture it. And we also can destroy it or put the screen back on. And uh, the reason behind of destroying it that we want to have some chat interaction instead of this placeholder text right now on the background which sounds fun to me and on the screen to the right we are actually able to put some notes on a separate screen so if we investigate something and we want to make some graph and we want to build it up as we are researching more and more information this is where we will do that. Additionally, we can grab our uh, bunny here and we can start drafting things up right on the screen and we can integrate the character animator, dragon behavior that will be translated in the Unreal. We can see that character can cast a proper shadow. We can continue interact with the character as we were before by using our controllers. So this did not really change and we can keep on improving our character and add continue interactions. I'm not quite sure what exactly would be the show when that the bunny is going to do. But I do like the ability to have this uh, transition between the different cameras they allow us to have more flexibility when it comes to presentation and generally looks more interesting. One of the things that we need to do though, uh, for the back view, we really need to flip the bunny and uh, it's not really comfortable to do by pressing one button to change the Unreal view and another button to do something with the character animator. So I generated a little bit of a small script that address all of that. To do this, we using Auto IT, and the logic here is really very straightforward. Let's comment what we are doing. What we are doing is we set up the hotkeys for one, two, and three to swap between the different views. We are setting up the loop, so we executing it every one millisecond. And from this point, we can just shift into the different views. And two things that we want to achieve here is to pass hotkey to the character animator window and pass hotkey to the game window. So we use control send. This is the name of our, our character animator window. This is supposed to be empty. And in order for you to identify the class, all you need to do is to open Auto IT window in 4, grab this guy and hover over this area where your character lives and copy this advanced class. And all you do after this is set up your hotkey 
that you set to swap your character and you set up do the same thing for your game but in the case of the game we will actually send our hotkey inside the game otherwise it would not work let's see how that looks in action so we can see when we are changing the view we can see the back of the character and we, when we see the back of the character our ears flip and our eyes disappear because this is expected behavior behind the character and we can do it by just pressing the button number three and when we pressing the one or two our bunny is getting to the front view room is in no way complete at the moment you can see it's kind of only one corner that is really visible by the cameras that is ready additionally it's kind of all placeholders and we will be changing a lot of art that is involved out there but i think this is a very good place to start and much more clear to me how the room supposed to work as opposed to when it was just an abstract drawing and we can also start thinking about the lighting and how the floating screen works and what makes them float and maybe some sort of uh, ideas are gonna arrive how to make it into the biotech and what sort of alive technology can make all those projections happen and i am planning to add here and there some bonuses because it's gonna be a nighttime situation so i want these guys to kind of fly around at random times and add even more interesting and weird things that just gonna pop in and out on the background every once in a while for the people that care to notice let's hope we can develop this room more and more over time and make it more interesting and hopefully it will give us even more idea of how to develop the world properly really small devlog today thank you so much for joining cheers